Can't believe that worked. I just took it out and did some loops. I mean, it's not comfortable, but it, I revved it up all the way. I didn't quite get up on coast, but I think I could figure out a way. I gotta move some weight to the bow. Of course, it was uh, put on the kayak without making any physical alterations to the hull of a kayak. It's just held on with bungee cords. But I took this thing out before, and it actually snapped the transom right there. Hull motor, plunk, in the water, gone. Floating out there, you know, about 50, 100 yards offshore. Come back here, and I'm like, huh, that was, uh, that was rough. Whatever, I, you know, I, I didn't need the motor. I mean, it's super loud. It was like a 200 buck motor. But Brooke was like, no. She made us go out in a rowboat, and we searched for it back and forth until she spotted the handle, and then she dove in the water, grabbed it, and brought it up to the top. And I was like, what? Like, I was like, well, we'll tie it up tomorrow. We'll get it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. But she grabbed it and brought it back up. I would have eventually, but it's pretty. it was pretty wild. Like, I did not think that would happen. Anyhow, but it, it worked! Nerd. Stop calling me nerd! Anyways, uh, yeah, but I just reinforced the transom with a piece of wood right there. So it doesn't have so much twisting action and rope the engine up and that life jacket and the engine are attached. So but if it did break off, it wouldn't work. Anyways, we're going to the beach. See? Totally removable.